All right, guys, I've been using this product for a couple of years now, and uh, the product is excellent. It works. You spray it on something. It doesn't work immediately, but after a while, uh, your sidewalks, your roofs, anything that has mold or mildew uh, will turn, will get clean uh, as it starts raining. So this thing works. The only problem is it's got a huge defect, and it's the spray nozzle. This extreme spray nozzle is uh, very poorly made, and as soon as you put it on a hose, and it gets a little bit of pressure, you start spraying and everything's going great, and then boom, it pops out, and it basically breaks these two retainer uh, clips here, and there's no way to salvage this again. So this is a fix on how to take care of that problem and uh, permanently solve this so that you can order just refills. You do not have to buy the nozzles again. Here's how it's done. You could do this on your one that already broke, like this one here, but I'm gonna do it on a new one. And the premise is that uh, the first half inch of the nozzle, no water is there. You can look down here and you'll see that all it is is space around the nozzle where the water comes out. So you could put a hole in here on each side of this and you're not going to affect the performance of the nozzle. So <clears throat> what you need to do is drill a little tiny hole on this side, about a quarter inch from the front, another little tiny hole on this side, a quarter inch from the front, and put a small screw in it. I chose brass screws from Home Depot for, uh, I couldn't find a stainless steel that small, three eighths inch long number two screws. I'm gonna put a hole in here, I'm gonna put the screws in, and this then will never pop out and you could use it over and over again You'll note that 3 8 is just long enough not to perforate the center. 3 8 will work. It'll sit tugged there, or you don't even have to put it all the way in. The bottom line is you want to fix this and the blue together so it doesn't pop out under pressure. All right, so when you drill, all you got to do is be careful that you stop once you get through the blue and the black and do not drill into this. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Just pick a little quarter spot. Doesn't this is not rocket science here. A little pilot hole because the screw needs to have a pilot hole to get through. Yeah, I've gone through. And now I'll do the same on this side. So I just, by hand, put in the screws, start them with a little twist. And I couldn't find my little mini screwdriver, so I'm going to use this little tiny watch screwdriver that I have here. It really is kind of small and ridiculous, but it'll work. Okay, that's it. All right, so there it is. I didn't even put them all the way in because it got a little tough with that little mini screwdriver, but that's all you need to do. Now this is permanent until the wet and forget people figure out that this is a piece of junk and figure out how to put at least a little pin or, or two screws in there. This is the fix. This will solve your problem and make this nozzle reusable over and over again. Hope this is useful for you. Thanks.